Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we have a track from an act named Gino Joubert titled Time for a Change and if we switch over to here we have it on YouTube. Uh, Gino Joubert, official video, Save Humanity or What's Reserved 2022. Gino Joubert has released a cry for humanity in the violence and wars. Apparently this is the day for these anti-war songs because I've already had one earlier and this is the second one today, two for two. We are all humans and deserve to coexist peacefully. Greed and governments are combining to control the masses. We all let have a voice, let yours, uh, let your voice be heard by sharing this video. Fantastic, smart move there, because this is a good song to share, you know? You know, obviously we'll, we'll review it before we have that as a confirmation, because the song, you know, we'll, we'll listen to it from start till finish. We're gonna hear what we think. Let's go. Oh, that was a nice cymbal shimmer going into it with the piano line. It's nice and explorative, isn't it? That was a bass guitar in there as well. The guy's a stunning vocalist, isn't he? Great vocal grit there. Um, you know, considering we've already established that it is a, we're trying to end the violence and everything like that. You can hear that frustration and 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 anger in his voice with all the stuff that's going on and like a desperation almost for things to improve. Yeah, okay, there's an interesting tone to that lead guitar. It's like, the lead guitar sounds sounds great. I'm, I'm wondering, was there like a slight cut in like the six or seven kilohertz bit or something like that? It's It sounds present in the mix. It's almost like it's kind of been like softened a little bit just to let the vocals stand out a bit more, which makes sense because you have the vocals and the lead guitar in the same similar frequency spectrum. Even if they're not the exact same pitch, you know? Yeah, no, nah, never mind. Lead, lead, lead guitar is fine, it's all good. Very articulate voicing there. The drums, though. This is a banger, actually. Has it... No, there's this nostalgia, I think, for, for like the decades of old, you know, like, and by decades of old, I mean 40 years ago, you know, like a lot of people who are, you know, in their 50s and 60s nowadays were teenagers around that time and, um, or like in their early 20s. And I suppose it, it, when, when I hear people talking about the 80s, it does seem like a, a more prosperous time, despite like the, the concerns about the Cold War and stuff like that. I have to hand it to um, Gino Joubert. I, I'm actually well stoked with this ballad. It follows the traditional sentiments of like, you start with the piano and the vocals and then you bring like the bass in. You know, you get that, the guitar to come in with the lead line, sophisticated little lead lick. Then you have the drums come in, you have the backing vocals in the second verse. It's sensational, dude. <laughs> repeating, this, uh, repeating this hook line here. Phenomenal vocal technique as well. Those vibratos sound effortless and he's working really well with the other backing vocalists as well. This is a big production and I'm well, I'm, I'm very happy with it. That vocal break there. 
Yeah, that call and response. Damn, dude. I'm genuinely stoked with this. This is just really clever songwriting. You you know, you've had the story. You've said the message of the song. This song is so respectful of your time as well. It's 3 minutes 17. Like, it's that's short enough to like, be you know. And we have time for a harmonized guitar solo. I'm sorry. That was a phenomenal end to that run there. That was an incredibly articulate lead line there. That guy can shred. Oh my goodness, this is a really great song. Wow, I'm well impressed. I didn't know what I was walking into with this one, you know, because I've listened to songs that have this similar sort of sentiment before and they've been a bit cheesy or a bit wishy-washy, but this didn't really have that vibe to it, man. Damn, dude, time for a change. I, I utterly agree. I utterly agree with that. That's a great track. I, I don't know, I'm kind of gobsmacked by that. Because I'm used to these ballads being like, because this is inclusion, by the way, I'm used to these ballads being about five minutes and sort of self-serving and, um, that you didn't get that with this. It's just so to the point. So it cuts to the chase. Gino Joubert is a phenomenal songwriter. Um, everything was put where I needed to. You had careful placement of these additional influences and bits of nuance. You had dynamic range, the performance. You had lots of cool ideas happening with these. Um, and the chord progressions were fairly consistent and, and, and they, they made sense. And this says it wasn't a whole lot of chromaticism or anything like that because we weren't looking for something progressive. We had a similar time signature and groove for our, although the drums did change the rhythm of it during their fills and everything like that. It just, it was such an 80s ballad, which is interesting considering that we're looking back to the 80s. It makes a lot of sense that we had that old school kind of ballad like with the heavy rock guitars and harmonized guitars. The harmonized guitars were a master stroke, man. This, uh, this song, makes me feel nostalgic for a time where I wasn't alive. And that's something that I cannot fathom, really. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What else do I want to say about this? Um, you know, again, I, th I think that the story is, is well, obviously you've seen the video with me. If you're watching this, you can see that there was stop war in Ukraine. This is obviously a video aimed at people who, uh, this, uh, this musician wants to say, look, seriously, this needs to stop. The violence, the pain needs to end. We need to do something different. We need, we need to find peace and um, be able to love each other again, you know? The, the amount of violence and chaos really sucks. And I totally agree with that sentiment. Absolutely, man. The singing was sensational. Gino's got an, a way of singing that's um, distinctive, memorable, easily one of the best vocalists I've heard during my time doing these reviews, especially in this genre. Such phenomenal emoting, such phenomenal expression. And any ornamentation, again, was effortless. What also left a lot of room in the mix for other musicians to work with him in regards to that vocal, backing with the harmonies and the choruses and everything like that. Um, but also left enough of the music in there to just allow for like the guitar solo and the other piano parts at the start. We were spoiled with this. I don't usually, uh, I'm not usually this positive about the tracks that I review, but I, I adore this one. It's just, it's professional, man. It's professional, it's commercially ready. Um, which is a shame because I, it's one of those things where it's like, no, should I even be thinking about the commercial elements of it when we're talking about this? But then again, I think Gino Joubert is a professional musician. And even if he is not making money from music at this point in time, he's at a level where he could, I think, if he continues to grow and improve himself and, and get his music out there, he doesn't really need to improve. I think he's where he needs to be. He just needs to continue to, to market himself. And again, he's telling people to share the music around. So hopefully he gets more of an audience. You know, like again, the guitar playing piano, it was all give and take. There was such a careful consideration of not overloading the listener with various elements. It was carefully staged. It was went throughout chronologically. You get the impression that as you know, really understands music theory and composition to a level which is um, quite high. <laughs> I just don't really know how he could have improved this. And there was that X factor to it as well 
that I think just comes from a wide majority of wide variety of different things. I just loved how the musicians had the flexibility to express themselves in their own way with their own drum fills. There was no sense of sterilization to the performance. There was no sense that they were being told to play within a box. That, that everyone involved with this, even if it was session musicians or Shino Joubert playing everything himself, either way, it was just it was there was a sense of maturity to it and expertise you know production recording mixing mastering dude like i don't even know where to begin with that like that's that's it's just done they went to a studio they got it done professionally it sounds like something i'd hear on the radio the what really got me was the time of it three minutes 17 it's so smart it's just so so smart it's just it's it's just so humble it shows humility, which is even more important in this time when you're making a new song like this. It's designed to be shareable, but it also comes across as you're a person who respects the listener, as well as what the music that they're making. And it's just, oh, dude, I've, I've got lots of love for this. So genuinely, Gino Joubert, well done. Well done with this track. Save humanity. Time for a change. Time for a change. This is effectively my review, though, of Time for a Change by Gino Joubert. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this track, please do go show Gino Joubert some love via his various social media and his YouTube page. Stay cool and stay safe. And please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. It's either how more than there with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.